This is our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime, and if you want to learn how to take complete control over the audio settings, then this video is for you. Our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime allows you to seamlessly integrate your choice of an iPhone or Android smartphone with your existing iDrive display and controller. All of your favorite apps will be right at your fingertips. Because of this level of integration, we wanted to be able to give you, the user, complete control over the audio of your wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime. And for that reason, we have 13 different settings that you can use to dial in the sound just as you want in your BMW. Now first, let's talk about how to get to those settings. If your phone is already connected and you have Android Auto or CarPlay up, double tap the back button on your iDrive controller to get to the main MMI Prime user interface. If you're in the BMW system, hold the menu button down in your iDrive controller so it can switch over. With your iDrive controller, navigate over to the settings icon and select it. Scroll down to audio settings and select that. Now let's talk about the different settings and what they do. Volume is the overall volume from the MMI Prime. We suggest having this all the way up and using your main volume knob for your BMW to make changes on the fly. Music volume will control the level of music playback. Call volume will be how loud someone is when speaking to you on a phone call. Siri slash assistant volume will be how loud you want Siri, Google Assistant, or Alexa yelling at you when she doesn't understand what you mean when you ask for directions. Application volume is for Google, Google Maps, and other apps in CarPlay or Android Auto. Microphone volume is used to amplify incoming microphone volume. Microphone OP gain is for rough adjustment of analog amplification. Microphone PGA gain is not for turning up the golf announcers. It's with nature. That's Davis Love the Third flirting <laughs> with disaster. Take, trying to take a picture of it. <laughs> He's got his camera on his mobile phone. But for fine adjustment of analog amplification. Advanced Echo Cancelling is used to adjust the Advanced Echo Cancellation Delay Parameter, so this way you won't hear your voice when you echo when you're on a call. The numbers are not values, but different settings, so you'll want to be on a phone call with someone and go through the settings to find which works best for you. Echo Cancelling Level will adjust the strength of the echo cancelling to make the echoing during calls harder to hear. When playing music from your phone, it is possible to toggle between songs by double-tapping the iDrive controller left or right to switch to the previous or next song. If you listen to long format podcasts, it makes sense to toggle this off to prevent accidental skips. Auto switch to aux will have your BMW automatically switch the input of your BMW to the aux port, which is where the sound of your wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime will come from. The equalizer gives you a parametric EQ to tune the audio to your liking. Those are all the settings in the wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime, but let's go over a couple more settings and some audio troubleshooting tips. First up, the aux volume. If you're not hearing any audio from your wireless CarPlay or Android Auto MMI Prime, you might have to turn up your aux volume. In your multimedia settings, head over to external devices, your aux input, and make sure you turn it up. You don't want to turn it up all the way because you might get distortion. So we advise you to turn it up to around 10. If you can hear the music at a comparable volume to FM, that means you're set up fine. You also want to make sure that your fiber optic cable has been relocated to the BeamerTech plug and play harness and that the quad lock connector is secured as well. If you're not hearing any audio from your wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime, you might have to turn up your aux volume. In your BMW settings, select your aux input and make sure that the volume is turned up to around 10. So what if you're having So while on a call, exit CarPlay Android Auto screen by pressing the iDrive controller back button twice in quick succession. Then go to settings, audio, and scroll down to advanced echo canceling. Start increasing the setting from zero up in one step increments while having someone test the echo each step of the way on the other side of the phone. Uh, most likely somewhere between four and 12, you'll find a setting where the echo is gone or greatly diminished. So there you have it. That's how you take complete control over the audio settings of your wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime. To get one of these kits for your car, head on over to our website and enter your VIN so you can find the kit right for you. For more tips and tricks, product reviews, and more about BMWs, Minis, and Supras, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. And hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.